Hello everybody, this is String Immediate to kick off round two for group H. So yes, our final round two video here, and we got this quartet of matches for you. So at first we got two winners from round one in Killer Wolf going up against Black Rider. Then we have the other two winners from round one going at each other in Shin Dominus and LP Gauzy. Then on to our guys that lost in round one, we have Sujobu versus Tyrant King. And then, our main event of this session. It is a rematch from the group stage last year, as Ur meets Iron Dan. Okie dokie. Let's go with our first match, shall we? Right, in the red corner. Representing. Um, I forgot who you're called. Cuddle Boot. No, Killer Wolf. And we have Super Carnotaurus. I remember now, you're the sap that's got the Awaken mode on one. But in the blue corner for Black Rider, we have got Mega Raptor. Black Rider looking for, you know, both of these two looking to go 2 0 in this tournament. Hmm, um, I don't think we have secret dinosaurs in this matchup, so no terrain advantages will apply. No blitz types, moves will be generated as per the norm. Look, it's always a risk when you uh, do the Awaken mode right away, as this Carnotaurus is. But sometimes it's a risk that pays off, and sometimes it goes wrong. And with that Dino Illusion, I think this is going to go wrong. Well, it doesn't matter, because if, even if he gets the hit, it's going to be the Dino Illusion. And he would have got the hit as well. Oh, how big could that Dino Illusion become the end game? Right, both of these guys do have Dino Illusion in their team. But it is Carnotaurus getting all the hits so far in this match. Oh, for God's sake. Really? Another Dino Illusion? Like, this move, that move is so busted. Oh, Mega Raptor getting his first shot of the match. And it's that Venom Fang. Black Rider getting their first hit here. It's going to be a good hit. It'll poison the Carnotaurus. Oh, and they got his Dino Illusion triggered. Double Dino Illusion, but the, it is, you know, Black Rider, despite there only one hit in this match, because of the Awaken mode, half Zakano's HP, it is advantage Black Rider. And more so now with our Dino Illusion, with our hit, getting rid of the Dino Illusion. And now a tie will be lethal for Kano. But there's no tie because he gets the Venom Fang. Whee! So that's Carnotaurus going down, and despite a sluggish start, Black Rider is in the lead. Right, coming in next for Killer Wolf, we got Ampelosaurus. Actually, both teams have water dinosaurs in second, so. Things are about to get wet. Actually, very similar teams if you think about it. Mm -hmm. But remember, the Mega Raptor is still has the Dino Illusion, so Killer Wolf has got to get rid of our Dino Illusion ASAP. But, oh, it's a crit! That's not good. That's a net crusher. It is Black Rider getting the big shots in this match. Ulti Rhinus need Ampelosaurus needs this hit just to get rid of the Dino Illusion, and there it is. And that crit would have probably been lethal as well. So a big Dino Illusion that could be, but it does trigger the Futaba Cannon. But Cudgel Booth. No, not. My head's all over the place today, okay? Black Rider getting another Venom Fang off. This isn't good for them. Aqua Vortex getting triggered there. Okay, the Ampelosaurus doesn't go down. And it can attack during a tie, courtesy of the Aqua Vortex. Oh, bless it, but the Mega Raptor gets the hit anyway. And it is 2-0 to Black Rider. Aha, got it right that time. 
Right, up third for Killer Wolf, we have got Pachyrhinosaurus. Hmm, well, this Pachyrhinosaurus is gonna have to pull its weight here because it's got Mega Raptor to deal with. It's got Shudasaurus to deal with, which it will have type advantage. So, you know, wouldn't count Killer Wolf out yet. And it's got Black T-Rex to deal with. Now, I will say, that Dino Illusion on the Awaken mode for the Kano has probably changed the match because had there been no Dino Illusion there, Carnotaurus would have got the head and this Megaraptor would be going down. But, well, could this be a 3-0 victory? Oh, maybe not. I think that's a power drain. I suspect this will be lethal for the Megaraptor. And it is. Megaraptor finally going down. Right, coming in next for Black Rider, we've got Shunasaurus. Now, it does have type disadvantage, but Killer Wolf does have a decent lead in this match, so maybe they can chip away at the Packy Rhinosaurus and then have Black T-Rex finish it off, if that's the case. Or, if the Packy Rhinosaurus gets some, gets some quick hits on the board, Killer Wolf coming back into this. Hi. I think we do have Ocean Panic, so Ocean Panic is a factor here. But it is Shunasaurus gonna hit on the board. The tie bomb's gonna help. Can this can this be a bonus point win for Black Rider? Oh, that's a tie. But that'll do for the Shunasaurus. There's the tie bomb. Can the Shunasaurus get it done? Another tie, no ocean panic. Pachyrhinosaurus just can't get a big hit in. Another tie, no ocean panic, which is really surprising. And yeah, there it is. And it is killer, no, it is Black Rider's victory. Damn you people having similar names. <laughs> it's a bonus point victory and a quite dominant display, to be honest. I thought this match would be a bit closer, but it wasn't meant to be. Right, on to our next match. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Shin Dominus, we have got Zuniceratops. And well, this is a good field if you're Shin Dominus, because you'll get that terrain advantage. But you'll only get it with Zuniceratops, since you only get terrain advantage once in the entire match. Right, in the blue corner for El Igozi, we have got, well, Terry of course. And well, um, sort of died rather quickly, didn't it, in their Dozzy's first match. They came from behind to beat Uru after a very sluggish start. Actually, both of these team, both of these guys had slow starts in their respective matchups and came back to win, so we'll see how this one goes. Right, first things first. Let's get the terrain advantage over with. There's that hit from Zuniceratops. Okay, not too much damage done there. Don't think Gozzi will mind that too much. Zuniceratops, not the hardest hitting dino in the game. But it does get another hit. A steady start from Shin Dominus. Five. Oh, hello. What have we got here? We got an electric charge. And this has been a very electric start so far from Shin Dominus. Ooh, but that's a tie. Oh, big hit from the gods, man. It's a crimson flame. Boosh! Okay, that might have broke people's wearing headphones. I'm sorry about that. Boosh. I will tone it down next time. There we go. <laughs> but this is going to be a massive hit from Goz. He's going to deal decent damage to the Zuniceratops. Oh no! And yeah, look at that. Although, Counter Blitz has been triggered. That's the difference though, isn't it? Three hits from the Zuniceratops. And you look at Terry's health. One hit from Terry, look at Zuniceratops' health. 
Okay, well, he doesn't need the counter blitz because he gets the hit anyway. And it is 1 0 to Shin Dominus. Right, coming in next for El Igozi, we got the little ratty thing. The super little ratty thing, because it is Super Ceratosaurus. Awaken mode on four. It's a guy. And, you know, they put in a good display against Urn in uh, round one. And Gozi will be looking for the same in this match. Oh, look, the little fellas. The little fellas are going at it. Ooh, but Zoomie Ceratops gets another hit. Another, is this electric charge? Yes, it is. Actually, it should be. <laughs> right, that's one. Ooh, that's a crit, but the Dino Stuffer is going to put a stop to that crit. How crucial could that be in the end game? In fact, Dino Stuffer would have played a crucial role in Gozzy's win in round one. But they need to get hits. They just can't get any hits on the board at the minute. Oh, gee, that was a decent amount of damage. The electric charge all charged up this Zuni Ceratops. Oh, that's not good. And it is 2-0 to Shin Dominus. Okay, Gozzy, coming in third, we have got Super Veritinosaurus again. He'll wake the mode on four. And Gozzy's going to need to do something here because... Well, he's only got one hit in this entire match. Now it's the Crimson Flame. But other than that, it's been all Shin Dominus. But there's still a chance for Gozzy to pull this back, but they need to get hits on the board and need them quick. Oh, for... Ooh, wow. Oh my god. Is, is this going to be a free now? Because the Zuni Ceratops is stacked. Okay, it's a tie, at least. Oh, it's a plasma anchor. <laughs> um, I don't think this is going to be Gauzy's day. I think this is meant it's going to be Shin Dominus's victory. And a big victory as well. But can it be a 3-0? Right, that's twice. Oh, hello, Archaeopteryx charm. I just caught that. A very useful Archaeopteryx charm there. Another tie. Oh, finally Gozzy gets a hit. And finally Zuni Ceratops biting the dust. Right, up next for Shin Dominus, we got Anki Ceratops. Well, Shin Dominus still has a decent and big lead in this match, so I still expect them to pull it, you know, to get it done. But you never know. Gozzy can get a hit with the Awaken Mode if he can survive. Maybe, just maybe the comeback's off. But I do feel... Actually, no, I think Shin Dominus will need two hits to win. Gauzy getting another hit. Okay, that's thrice. One more for the Awaken mode. And he will survive. I mean, yeah, Shin Dominus is going to get a hit, but this is not going to be lethal. The tie bomb, though, does make things complicated. That pretty much stops Gozzy from trying to tie it with the Anti-Ceratops. Get a hit here. Oh, hang on. Archaeopteryx charm again. I always forget about that. And it gets rid of the tie bomb as well. How crucial could that be? A tie. Another tie. Third tie. Oh, well, all of a sudden, things getting hairy for Shin Dominus. Right, coming in third for Shin Dominus, we got Stracosaurus. Well, it was so comfortable for Shin Dominus, but those ties have really stirred things up. One crit from Ferrazinosaurus could win this for Gozzi. And this would be a literal smash and grab, because you've only got two hits in this entire match. Actually, no, I think three hits. Because, but yeah, put it this way, Shin Dominus has been on top. Oh my god, he got the crit! Is this going to be the comeback? 
Oh, <laughs> he almost killed it. But look at this all of a sudden. From the brink, Gozzi has come right back in this match. Oh, hang on. And it's a tie. Well, if you're shitting dominance, you're probably feeling robbed because you were so dominant in this match. But LP Gozzi coming back into the contest and snatching a tie from nowhere. Absolutely incredible. I never expected to have so many ties in a, to in a tournament. I thought, okay, maybe one. But so far, well, we've had three ties. That's our third tie and we're only two rounds in. Incredible. Right, match number three now. Ooh, the Alpha Arena. Hmm, interesting. You happy if you could jump? Right, in the blue corner, red corner for Cudgel Booth, we got Megalosaurus. Cudgel Booth suffered defeat in round one. At the hands of Killer Wolf during the main event. Looking to bounce back here. And this is a good field for them because they do have the Alpha Acro in second with terrain advantage. Right, in the blue corner, representing Tyrant King, we got Black T Rex. Well, Tyrant King also suffered defeat in round one at the hands of Shin Dominus. But this Black T-Rex was quite effective in that match. So definitely it was by far not the reason Tyrant King lost. Lost because the other two Dinos didn't do much. It's always nice to get the Alpha Arena. Oh, that's a big start. Big start by Cudgel Booth. A gigantic fall. Gonna lead to a gigantic amount of damage done to the Black T-Rex. Not a good start for Kit for um, Tyrant King there. Ooh, but they'll take that crit though. That's going to be a big... Oh, Crimson Flame. <laughs> I got a caught off guard there. There we go. This is going to be a big response from Tyrant King. Just the response they needed. So both of our guys have got off big crits early on. Excuse me. Okay, the Megalosaurus did do a little bit more damage. So Cudgel Booth does have a slight lead. Oh, well that lead's gone. It's the ultimate fire move. It's a Magma Blaster. And this is going to be Kurt in for Megalosaurus. And Tyrant King will be, have a 1-0 lead. But... Coming in next for Cudgel Booth, we've got Acrocamphosaurus, Alpha Acrocamphosaurus, you know what that means. This Acro is going to get terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit and it will be a scissors hit. Interesting, it doesn't have any fire moves. And what's more interesting, given its popularity, it's the only Alpha Acro in this tournament. Right, here comes the banana surprise, but I think that's going to be curtains for Black T-Rex, so we are going to be level pecking with everything said and done. Yeah, I thought it would. Okie dokie, coming in next for Tyrant King, we got Super Eelcock, here we are. Awaken mode on three. Boom, bow, chee, bow. Now, that Awaken mode could determine who wins and who loses this match, if we get to that. I suspect we will. Ooh, that's a crit. It's all about the crits so far in this match. Right, that's one. Oh, that's, oh there's another crit. Well, Acro can't keep going crits because Eokaki is going to get off his own crit. Oh, that's another hit. Will the Acro survive? It does. Oh, no, it won't. It's a Flare Sword. <laughs> How big could this Flare Sword be? Because now, Seratosaurus comes in with tight disadvantage, and it's got the Awaken Mode to deal with. Big opportunity here for Tyrant King, definitely. As for Cudgel Booth, well... Not in good for them. It's an even start, but just can't hit the Eokak area. Right. Oh, 
Kai. Oh, oh is this is not looking good. And now, get the players all out of the way first. But now, massive opportunity for Tyrant King Yurt to get the bonus point win. Elemental fusion. Right, let's see how this plays out. Massive moment in the match. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Game over for Cudgel Booth. It's Tyrant King's victory. And it's a bonus point victory to boot. Bouncing back from disappointment in round one in style. Right, now then. On to our main event of this session. A rematch from the group stage of last year's tournament. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing... Ooh, we got Spinosaurus. It's the Blitz type Spino, that is. Um, we are on the Dirt Plains field, so I don't think anyone has terrain advantage here. Oh, wait, yes, Ur uh, does, with the Orinoceratops. Coming in the blue corner for Iron Dam, we've got Stegosaurus. Well, both of these two didn't get the starts they wanted. Now, in the uh, match last year between these two, I do believe Iron Dam won that match. It's a very close match as well, if I remember correctly. So he should be in for a good match here. But because this Spino is Blitz type, we will he will get his start with two crits. Right, let's see if he gets a crit this time. Ooh, not this time. I think last time the Spino got the both crits. Oh, no crits. No crit this time, just two draws. But Spino does get the first hit on the board. It is an alpha dice. Oh, that's a big number. That's a five. Boosh. Strong start from Ur yet again. Oh, another alpha dice. What, what will the number be this time? Ah, oh, it's a one. <laughs> Not much damage this time. But the Stegosaur is really struggling so far. The tie. Oh, it is tie recovery type for Steg, so it does get a bit of health back there. But that's not going to matter, because Spinosaurus is going to waste it and give Ur a 1-0 lead. Right, coming in for Iron Dan's second Dino, we have got a Kakirodontosaurus. Hmm. Iron Dan might be in trouble here, with the tight disadvantage this Kark has. Hmm, this is a good opportunity for Ur to extend their lead here. It does not bode well for Iron Dan. Oh, especially with that! That's a big water sword with the type advantage. Massive hit with the Spino. Oh, okay. Could have done with this for the Steg, but it'll take it. It is a fire cannon. Just the response Iron Dan needed. Oh, yo, the Spino's on fire. And I, th I think this Kark is counter type as well, so could hit there from Iron Dan. Finally firing a shot in this match. But needs to do a bit more than that because, well, even if he kills the Spino with Kark, a Rhinoceratops comes in and it'll have the terrain advantage, which will finish off the Kark. But at least he's not 2 0 down. At least the Spino is going down here. Right, coming in next for Ooh, we got a <coughs> Ooh, I choked on my uh, dangly thing then. Right, coming in for Ooh, we got a Rhinoceratops. With terrain advantage, it'll get a paper hit. Dun 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 dun. So yeah, Iron Dan will be down to the last Dino, which is Super Spino. And he's going to need the Awaker mode for the looks of it. Right. Oh, well, actually, it's going to have Titus advantage as well. Hmm. 
Right, anyway, coming in third for Iron Dan, we got Super Spinosaurus, so Awaken Mode on three. And I think if he's going to win this match, he's going to need that Awaken Ten. I think that's the only way I could see Iron Dan win in this co contest. Because Ur has a pretty good lead. But they had a good lead against Gozzi in round one, and Gozzi came back to win. So, you know, we won't count Iron Dan out yet. Oh, that's a hit. That's a good shot, though. Right, that's once. The Futaba Cannon getting triggered there. Ooh, but it's a Rhinoceratops getting that next hit on the board. And another hit on the board. But you know what time it is? It's a week, week time. I'm in door. Fusion. Well, Iron Dan really needs this hit. And he gets the hit. It's a Futaba Cannon. And despite the type disadvantage, I think the awakened damage is going to be lethal for our Rhinoceratops. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> it's not. Type advantage there, spearing a Rhinoceratops. And if they can get this hit, it will be a bonus point victory for Ur. Okay, no bonus point victories for Ur here because the Spino gets this crit. Which is going to spell lethal for a Rhinoceratops, but not getting off the Dromeo Rush during the Awaken mode. Because this would have killed the Rhinoceratops, and then that crit would have been hit on Armatus. I think that will be costly for Iron Dan there. Right, coming in next for... Ooh, we've got Armatus. The Spectral Armor version. And, well, I... Well, we're not going to see Spectral Armor in this match. Spino's health is way too low for that. But can Ooh finish the job here? Or will Iron Dan complete the comeback? That's a tie. Ah, oh, no, there it is. It's Ooh's victory. And finally, Ooh gets a victory in my tournament. They've only had one victory, I think, since joining last year. And that was against Dino Hunter, and now they got their first victory of this tournament. Right, well that's going to conclude round two for the group stage. So we'll have a look at how this group stands, and we will end the session. Right, that's how Group H looks, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting, I think the only group so far that has only one 100% in Black Rider winning two out of two. Then we have Tyrant King going up to second place with our bonus point victory on five points. The bonus points, primarily the only reason he's second. Then we have Gozzi and Shin Dominus level on points on four points with that draw. And we have Ur down here with uh, also four points, but below these two because they have a worse record. Killer Wolf on three points. And then Iron Dan and Cudgel Booth make up the bottom two. So yeah, Group H really opening up. And honestly, the result I probably didn't expect was the draw. That came, that came out of nowhere. Right, that's going to conclude round two for the group stage. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, ta-ta!